my friends. Welcome to Dynasty Warriors. Now you might be thinking, oh, Dynasty Warriors, that hack and slash game where you kill like a million people and it's in China, and you would be close. It's the same series to an extent, but this is the original game in the series that came out on PlayStation back in 1997. This is a very different game, and you'll see how very shortly. I'm going to be playing through this game as my two favorite characters, Xiao Hu Dun and Tai Chi Si, so let's jump right into it. So what this game is, is very different from what Dynasty Warriors is known for now. It's a fighting game. It's a fighting game very much like Tekken, or... Um, uh, actually, it's closer to Soul Calibur because of the weapon system. But, yes, it's very, it's very much like that. It's just a basic fighting game. You have special moves, you have super combos, which are the Mushu. There's an example right there. And, um, yeah, it's far and away from uh, what Dynasty Warriors is, no is now known for as a big hack and slash game that has sprawled many, many, many sequels and whatnot. So very, very more quaint or origins. And in the United States, um, the, the naming of Dynasty Warriors is actually wrong. Dynasty Warriors 2 and Beyond is technically a different series from the original game. So this is actually the only game in the so-called original Dynasty Warriors series and that all the sequels are something completely different. Kind of like with Quake, I guess. So, there you go. It's just a fighting game. We're going to run right through it. Got a lot of memories of this game. We got it in late 1998, and we played the shit out of it for a good, like, six months or so. But once I got uh, Super Smash Brothers for my ninth birthday, that changed. It's still a fun game to come back to every so often, but it hasn't aged that well, as you can see. The graphics are super blocky. And the fact that it's a fighting game and not what Dynasty Warriors is known for now is a little strange to some people, so... You know, if you think it's weird, don't worry. A lot of people are with you. So I'm just going to run through it with my two favorite characters. You might wonder why I'm not going to do it with all the characters in the game. And it's just because when it comes to fighting games, I'm not that good at certain things. So I, I only get good as a couple characters, and then I'm just like, fuck it, fuck everyone else. They suck, you know? And as a res so as a result, I'm just going to go through with my two favorite characters, and that'll be it. it. You'll see enough of the game regardless, so don't don't worry too much about that too much. It's a bit of a tricky game, but it's not super hard, especially with the two characters I'm going to play as. They've got some great moves. So if you're not familiar with Dynasty Warriors, it's basically a game that takes place in the Three Kingdoms era of China, where they're all going at war and whatnot. Uh, if you play games like Romance of the Three Kingdoms, you can see it in a little more depth. But that's the gist of it. And one thing about this game in particular is that if you play as a character of a certain kingdom, you won't fight anyone from your kingdom, respectively. So I'm not going to fight two of the characters. I'm just going to fight all the characters from the other kingdoms instead. Oh, I did that on accident. Oh boy. This guy always reminds me of Zangia for some reason. I don't know why. He just does. Alright. Yeah, that round, that round slash that I do is a pretty versatile move. And if you can hit someone with, like, one of the slashes, they'll get hit by the last one, which knocks them over. And when you knock people over in this game, it's basically a guaranteed hit, because you can do, like, a jump attack or slash the ground. It's pretty good. Alright. Got a perfect... Not too difficult to get a perfect in this game. Oh, I want to cut him. Alright. Now the token girl. I think there's a lot more girls in Dynasty Warriors now, but in this game, this is the only female, aside from a secret character. I always thought she was dumb. I was like, wow, why does she fight with maracas? I bet she has cooties. So you gotta remember, I was only eight years old playing this game originally. She's dumb and she has cooties. I hate her. That was basically the, the logic. She's not even fucking trying. Goddamn. She really does suck. <laughs> okay. Her music's great, though. I really like her music. It's all dancey and shit. There's my free hit. I love his overhead slash. You see me doing that a lot, plus the fling. Those are just very damaging moves that often hit a lot. They're just great moves to do. Can't really go wrong with them. Okay, yeah, gotta be careful. When they're in the red and they do their yellow Mushu move, it uh, they do like a super long combo, which can fuck you up if you're not careful. 
So she's the halfway point. Now Taishi C here is my other favorite character. I'm going to be playing with him next after I beat it with Shaho Dun. But yeah, he's pretty good. I like him. Yeah, I, I have a very. There's a very limited move set for all the characters, so you see me using a lot of the same moves, but they work, you know. Can't really complain. And when they hit, they hit hard. If I can just get that last hit in. There we go. It's a pretty basic game. There's not a whole lot to it, but it's a fun game. I really like it, you know. It's weird coming back to it after so many years. The last time I played it on to any uh, real extent was in 2009, and that was just kind of a, a nostalgic revisit, you know. It sure takes the characters a lot of time to get up, so the CPUs can get that free hit in, too. It's not really a thing that only you can do. Oh shit, that was close. He almost hit me. Oh damn, I thought I was going to kill him. Yeah, what's uh, too bad is that there's not chip damage in this game. I guess it's good because chip damage can be annoying when it's done to you, but you can't chip away at their health when they're low and make them lose that way. Just got to carry on and beat them up. So now we have another character that I was always kind of like, ugh, with. There are some characters I'm just terrible with, and this is one of them. Oh, that didn't even do that much damage. Probably because I hit him in the air. When you hit people in the air, it just does less damage overall. My free oh, I didn't get the free jump attack. There we go. And overhead. I love the finish with the overhead slash. It just makes such a satisfying noise. Yeah, the end boss of the game, Lubu, he's pretty famous throughout the series, but in this game he's pretty tough. I think he's tough in all the games, really, but in this game I just always remember being a jerk. And you'll see. Hopefully I can beat him without losing. That would be great. It's not a terribly long game, honestly, but I'm only going to do two characters that I like because I don't want to waste a lot of time playing as characters I, I'm crap with, you know? It'll just be a quick let's play just to get something, you know, up. Because, I mean, my new John Satir schedule of one per week is actually going pretty well. I've done two episodes on it so far. So my content is finally starting to come back to my channel. But I, I also feel obligated to do a couple of Let's Plays just to vary things up. And non-FPS LPs at that. Because, I mean, Doom 2 is coming soon, at least in a couple of months. And that's going to be a... Uh, that's going to be a first-person shooter again, so... I want to try to get something else up. And I figured I would do this game because even though Dynasty Warriors is a very well-known franchise, a lot of people aren't too aware of this game in particular because it's just so different. And it wasn't really, uh, I guess, promoted all that much. I mean, I never, even, I didn't even hear about it until my brother uh, showed it to me a year after its release, you know? So, there's that. Nope. It's great that you can do Mushu moves instantly with L1 and R1. That's great. That means if they start to do something that takes a little bit of charge up, you can just shove that in their face and they're dead. Hope it doesn't rain. I'm looking out the window right now, looks like it might rain. I'd hate for that to get picked up on the mic is all. <laughs> now this guy, this is one of like the sub-bosses. You can either fight Zuzu Liang, this guy, or uh, Cao Cao. And uh, it, it, it depends on what, which kingdom you start with. And since I started with the kingdom that Cao Cao is in, I fight this guy. This guy's a bit of a hacker because he can teleport. I think that's, I believe that's his, uh, instead of sidestepping, he just teleports. And he's got that laser. You have to either duck it or jump over it. You can't uh, avoid it any other way. And it's uh, pretty painful. Uh-oh. Yep, there, there he goes. There's that pagoda again. But we got him. He's a pretty interesting character to fight as. Because I don't think the CPUs react too well to being uh, shot at with lasers. There we go. I always like to start the fight with the freaking fling there. That's such a great move. So is the overhead slash. Nope. Sorry. Try harder. Makes me wonder why they made this guy all like a... Uh... Oh, I jumped over that. Wow. I didn't even know you could do that. I guess you can't even time it just right. All right, time to fight Lu Bu. He's a tough one. He doesn't seem to have any affiliation to a kingdom. Characters with uh, the blue Chinese characters there don't have an affiliation to a kingdom, as far as I'm aware. So Dao Chan 
and Lubu. And uh, the secret character Nobunaga doesn't either. Now what's tough about this guy is you see him doing that stab with his thing. His halberd there. He's got a huge reach and he does a lot of damage. He's just a very tough boss overall. So you have to fight very carefully. Alright, sweet. I always had so much trouble with this guy as a kid. But really you just have to pay attention. You just have to always be blocking when he does that. Uh, stab. Oh, there was lightning. Yep, it's gonna start raining here. Probably get picked up on the mic. Yep. So I'm gonna have to stop between videos here and wait for that to pass before I carry on because I don't wanna get in trouble here. There was a super Mushu move. See, it took half his health. It has to connect though, is the thing. And when you're in the red, you can always uh, do Mushu moves. And there we go, I won. He's tough, but if you pull all the moves out correctly, you can beat him. So let's watch the ending. Those cheesy graphics. So there was the game of Shao Ho Doom. I think in real Chinese history he uh, got his eye taken out by an arrow, so then he ate it. I don't know why he really did that, but there you go. So there's the original Dynasty Warriors as Shao Ho Doom. Next up, I'm going to do it as Taishi C, my other favorite character, and that'll be the game. So thanks for watching, and hopefully this was a pretty informative look at the past of Dynasty Warriors. So see you then.